Mike McElroy here. I'm at the University of Tennessee Ag Research and Education Center at Greenville, Tennessee. And we're looking at uh, one of our two one acre forage plots. That's a summer annual uh, cocktail mix. This one in particular happens to be what they call Ray's Crazy Mix. And that's uh, Ray Archuleta. And with Southeast Agri Seeds, they came up with a mix here that includes uh, sorghum sudan, uh, some pearl millet, uh, some forage soybeans, daikon radishes, um, sunflowers, and I think a little bit of hemp, and some brassicas. Um, but um, this, this right here was uh, with the assistance of the ag research folks here. Uh, we laid out a one acre plot and uh, we came in and they came in and sprayed this in the middle of May. Uh, then on the sixth day of June, this was no-tilled with a Great Plains no-till planter. And we're about less than 60 days into it and you can see what type of forage right here that we have. Uh, this mix, uh, the main purpose of the mix is to provide a, a good forage for livestock and at the same time improve soil health. In this particular location where this one acre plot is and the next one just up here about uh, less than 100 feet, this used to be a tobacco field. Uh, it's, it's been out of tobacco for three years now. We took some soil tests back in February. And one thing that we were interested in is the organic matter. And when the soil tests come back, uh, it showed that the organic matter in these two plots was 0.3%. So that's one thing that we're very interested in improving, seeing if we can improve by having this type of forage here. Uh, we have a lot of biomass here. And what we'd be interested in, of course, the livestock grazing this, but at the same time, uh, trampling a lot of this down and getting some organic matter on the ground, getting some residue on the ground and improving our organic matter. The, the other plot just to the north of us is a cocktail mix that uh, worked with Tom Bible, who is the agronomist specialist for the Tennessee Farmers Cooperative and, uh, and working with Tom and also with my cubs on the mix, we have a leafy uh, millet, echo tail radishes, uh, Hutchinson soybeans, the iron and clay peas, brown top millet, sun hemp, and uh, maybe some sunflower in it, I think. But um, that was just another mix. We, we wanted to have two different mixes side by side and, and just kind of see um, um, you know, compare them both and, and see what type of a response that we're going to get.